Dogs in the background. <laughs> Early interruption. Yeah, sorry. I might actually have to put them away. What dogs have you got? I got a bull mastiff, Great Dane, and then a rescue. I don't know what breed it is, but keeps the Great Dane on his toes. You wanna come say hi? Chilling. Oh wow. He's a big fella. He is a big guy, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Set the scene for us then, Jacob. Where where are you? Yeah, just at home, kind of chilling out before heading over to Antigua for the the series against West Indies. And is that, is that your family home where you grew up? Yeah, we've been here. Well, my parents have been here for I think twenty two years. So I've lived my whole life in this house, which is nice. It feels it's definitely home. Still got the same room or? Same room, yeah. It's still got like it's got memorabilia or whatever from ages ago, so it feels like if I step back into my childhood when I when I go in there. Um, but yeah, it's still nice to come back in and sleep in it. It's worked out really well because this is going to be, I think, the last for a for a number of years because they've been coming for for the last three or four. So um, yeah, it's definitely to to have it here and to have actually a couple of games where I grew up in Barbados is. It's pretty special. So everyone I've seen since I've been back has been like, yeah, we got my tickets. I'm coming. So it'll be it'll be good. I'll have a good turnout, hopefully. Everyone says they're going to try and get Bethel shirts, England shirts, but they're going to wear West Indies hats, apparently. So I think they're going to be heavily on the fence. I think it'd be a great trip. Um, we definitely had a lot of momentum. I know we lost the last game against Australia, but as a, as a team, we had a lot of momentum kind of Carrying forward each game we played, we felt like we were getting better as a team. So I think this series is definitely an opportunity to do more of that. I've never been on an overseas tour, so well with the main team. So I'm I'm just kind of going into it open minded and and just get the most out of it that I can. But if it's anything to to go on the under 19 tours I've been on with England, they're really fun. You spend a lot of time with your teammates because people seem to be in in one place for longer. So yeah, it's definitely a a good opportunity to get to know everyone more so i'll be looking to do that and yeah just have a bit of fun i mean I've, i definitely felt quite far away from the england setup coming into this season which was quite a big driver i mean my first goal this season was to be fit and cement my place in the warwickshire team so that was kind of um point one but it just kind of doing things consistently and and carrying on the performances for the Bears kind of led to led to this. But yeah, it definitely has happened quickly, but it's it's something that I kind of knew I wasn't too, too far from. It had eyes on me from, from chats I've had. So it was just a matter of um, actually putting in performances to, to, to show them that I could actually do it. I was happy with the kind of the way especially in the T20s, having them first to, took me, I obviously didn't do anything in the first first game, but just kind of hit the ground running in terms of uh, match winning performances, like I've been doing for the Bears and then for the Phoenix. So it was, it was nice to just kind of translate that seamlessly. And then in the 50 over stuff, happy, didn't do anything special, but, but held my own and, and kind of showed glimpses and with both bat and ball, so it's nice to. It's definitely a, a start, but hopefully, hopefully a start to something much bigger. Yeah, I mean, hopefully I'll be playing full part in the summer. I mean, I don't see anything that's clashing currently, so hopefully I'll be back for that first championship game, ready to play. So, up at this current moment, that's that's what I'm looking at. Um, so, if anything else does come up, that means that things have gone well and that I 
have other opportunities, which is also great. But yeah, Warwickshire is is kind of the the foundation of where where my cricket game has developed and stuff. So I want to play as much for Warwickshire as possible.